Hello, this is Mr. Jimini. Coming to you with a couple more questions from the Chapter 7 pretest to look over in preparation for your post test later this week. If you take a look at these are questions actually one through five from your pretest. I've done a, probably about ten of your pretest questions by now. If you looked at this would be the third installment of this series. Hopefully you'll gain some knowledge or just a nice little review and reassure yourself what you're doing is right. Let's take a look. This is questions one, two, and three. I'm going to guess one, two, and three will look very similar on the post test. First thing it says, name one plane. Now, remember a plane is any three points that are not in the same line. So I can call, I can name this plane any one of these three points. So here, if I imagine this, this is a plane. It's a flat surface. I can choose any three of these points as long as they're not all in the same line. So I'm going to go with a real easy one. And there's really no reason, there's no real label or notation for plane. I'm just going to go Y. Y is a point all there by itself, so I'm naming three points. Y, and I'm going to go to W, and I'm going to go X. I'm going to call this plane Y, W, X. They are all on the plane. They're not all on the same line. I can name it plane Y, W, X. Now let's take a look at two line segments. Now I know a line segments must begin and end at set points, so they must have a dot. If I'm doing the notation correctly, a line and a dot. If I were to name two lines, I could say... Line, excuse me, line segments. I can do line segment ZW. It starts at Z, ends at W. That does not extend through the points. I could also do line segment line segment VX. Line segment VX starts at V, extends X. I cannot do line segment YX. There is nothing connecting them. So Y is just a point all by itself, not on this little insula or this little figure here, this drawing. So the last one, name four rays. A ray starts at one point, goes in the opposite direction through another point. I can do ray. I can make this line segment, but I also can make it a ray. Z, W. Starts at Z and goes on through point W. I could do line, uh, ray, excuse me, ZX. Starts at Z, travels through X. I could also do line segment, or ray, excuse me. Get stuck on that line segment. I could also do ray, how about we go ray VX, starts at V, travels through X. And I need one more ray because it says name of four rays. So let's go with ray, uh, let's see, I got have Z, W. How about we go W, Z? I'm going, now I'm starting at W and going through Z. So there's my other ray. Okay, let's take a look at number four and five. Number four, identify A, F, B as acute, right, obtuse or straight. So I'm going to find AFB here. I'm going to actually trace it. A to F to B. Now looking at that angle, if I'm going to pull it off, it kind of looks like this. If I were to look at that angle, well, if it were a right angle, it'd be like a letter L. It's definitely smaller than a right angle. Because it's smaller than a right angle, I know it is an acute angle. Acute angle. And then the last one here, identify two pairs of supplementary angles. Supplementary angles, super size. That means they need to equal 180 degrees. And I need to name two pairs, so all together I have to have four, four angles. So let's go with angle. And I see this here is a straight angle. So I know that these angles up here are all supplementary. And then I know that these angles down here in some configuration are all supplementary. So I'm going to start with up top. I'm going to go with angle. Remember the notation for angle is that. Let me move my little here. So let's go with angle C, and the vertex up top there is F, so C, F, A, and that's going to travel from here to here. Now I need to go all the way here, so it looks like I have to travel from A to B, but I have to remember that vertex being F. So we go angle A, F, B. That would be one pair of supplementary angles. Now I need to say two pairs. Looking at the second pair, I'm looking down below here. Here is my other pair. I'm going to go with B. The vertex here is F again, so I'm going to go B, angle B, F, and I'm going to go E, B, F, E. So B, F, E. I am right there, B, F, E. Now I have stopped at E. I needed to go from E all the way to C. So I go E back to the vertex, which is F, and then to C. So the supplement to B, F, E would be E, F, C. I should put a little angle mark there, and there we go. Hopefully this helps you prepare for the assessment. I wish you well. Take care. Bye.